TV10 and WRNR are proud to bring you this episode of Law Enforcement Live recorded on the second day of November 2020. Thank you to Berkeley County Sheriff's Department for allowing us to give you this look into a day in the life of a law enforcement officer. This episode will feature an investigation into theft, two automobile accidents, and a home alarm check. Law Enforcement Live is filmed live with the men and women of law enforcement. All participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. West Virginia traffic. Thirty-five. Okay, it's gonna be room one hundred five. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna put my over here. All right. Uh, you got the last one. Yeah. Okay. He's got the other one. You got the truck. Okay. And you guys got the front. <laughs> Y'all figured it out Light, yet? Light was red, uh -huh. and then I was stopped, and that guy was stopped. Uh -huh. I this, tried to stop. This, okay. this, okay. this car this car ran into that little hooky on the back. Gotcha, and then that pushed you into the car? Okay, gotcha. Sounds good. I just need everybody's driver's license, registration for adventure. Hey. Yes, sir. The other two cars, y'all will be able to drive it good. Okay, sounds good. Give me just a minute, we'll get y'all going. I don't think Are you gonna call it from the first? Yeah, I've already called one. You're good. Well, I'm gone here and I got DOH directed traffic for me. Um, we're going to take One good third number, and then just briefly what happened. All right, I already know what's going on. Just briefly, what happened. Do you have a pen? I'm right. for you. Right, Here's a for you. Your name goes up top. Your address, one good third number, and all the rest. Just a brief statement of what happened. Okay. Statement for you. Your name goes up top. Your address, one good third number, and just briefly what happened. All right.
you have any damage on the front of your truck here, sir? Yeah. Right, I'm gonna take one picture. Real quick. There's some guys right here. Too. Yeah, that's what that's what jabs them. <laughs> you can go, but we're keeping your stuff. Yeah, so I just need you to move. This. We can just move off the roadway so he can get the car loaded up. Yeah. We can, uh, if you'd like, if everybody can get safe, we'll just go to Rocks. All right, so the, the rock station right there. I'll just meet everybody over there at Rocks. Hey, Rocks? Yeah. yeah, we'll just go to Rocks, all right? Uh, hey, you want to drive? County Unit Available for Resolution Burglar Alarm 175 175 Gold Miller Road. Perfectly, any State County Unit Available for Resolution Burglar Alarm 175 175 Gold Miller Road, off of Harris Center. Physical Burglar, you got any information there? Park me to 154, you clear copy. Oh, my driver's valid, 2975 negative all. Alright, come back. Fast affirmative. 74, thank you. Attach all information, please. Copy, attach.
Berkeley at East Tater County Union available for residential burglar alarm 11181. Headed to the road in the area of Rustic Tavern Road. Berkeley at East Tater County Union available for residential burglar alarm 11181. Headed to the road in the area of Mountain Lake Road. Fifty four birthday, I'll get it once we're done. One five four. I did get two denials. Paper is the information exchange, okay. okay? As everybody's insurance information on it. Same for you, but yours is gonna be the gold one, all right? So with yours being self-insurance, how do I just need to call uh, this gentleman right here, Conrad, or what? Or is this the, the policy number? Because you're self-insured, or how does this work? I think that is the self, I think that's the policy number, but if you want to call him, okay, get the information for sure. Okay, I, just making sure. Yeah. Uh, other than that, let me grab your stuff, and I'll grab each one of you guys' cards. No, I didn't. So, everything that you handed me, oh, sorry, that's the information exchange. They each got a copy of it, okay? okay? With you being the one that rear ended them and causing the rest of the accident, I am finding you at fault, okay? With that being said, this is a summons, it's a warning, so there's no court, there's no fine, there's no points against your license. But it is showing that you're at fault, okay? Other than that, let me grab a couple cards for you guys out of my trunk. Hey, what is that? Oh, I'm going to give you my card. You call me later. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So with that, that has not only my number to the office, that also has my email on it. Email is the easiest way to get to me because it doesn't matter if I'm working at one in the morning or whatever, I can respond. I usually don't bother you guys. When it comes to that, the only thing I need from you is I need a copy of your insurance card that's still without the date. I just need to show that you had insurance prior to the date today, okay? So get that to me. Other than that, y'all are good to go. Let your uh, companies know that the sheriff's office is working the accident. Deputy Shockey, it will be about five to 10 business days before anything gets approved. It's usually the latter part. My report usually gets done and then it sits away for somebody to approve. It takes a while for it to get up to the front office. But just contact them, give them all that information that they're going to ask one the papers that I gave you. And after that, it's super simple. Okay. So other than that, if you guys need me, feel free to give me a call. Okay. So other than that, y'all are good to go. Thank you all. Fed to Fort Berkeley, you guys, one, 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 eight, one, correct? Affirmative. Nice, though. 10 4 break, Berkeley, to 158. Part of this is a little shit. Two facts in Aaron, Holder out of Winchester, break. Okay. Sean, 2006 Pontiac, expiration 12 2020. Ten four. My door says employees only. Yeah. Employees only in the guest house. Does it show a mapping which one it is? There's two mailboxes out front in the shared driveway. There's gonna be a one on the left. Thank you.
hear a little dog inside. Maybe that's what set the alarm off. Yeah, she called me. She said she's in an emergency room. Okay. So. Gotcha. I don't know. Does she have a little dog? It sounds like a little dog. She has, in yeah, she has a dog. That must have been what set her dog. So yeah. Everything looks secure. Yeah, though. she just called me and said, tell you that tell you that uh, she's in the emergency room. Cool. Well, so, I appreciate it. So. Yeah. Thank you. Doors and windows appear secure there. It sounds to be a small dog inside. We spoke to a neighbor, and they advised the homeowners currently in the hospital. Everything's 10 4 though. That ain't important. 10 4. I'll be out at 378 keepsake. How are you doing, dear? Sorry to bug you. You okay? Yes. So I'm out here. You know how there's the all the construction that's going on right behind your house? Yeah. You know what to do? Okay. Put it down. Okay. 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 Anything recent? Do you have any cameras or anything like that? I do have a camera, but I don't have anything on it. You don't have nothing on it? I don't keep uh I mean, I can see it right. when it happens, but, but I don't... It's not stored. Yeah, I don't oh, I, got you, I got you. I understand. I was just curious. We're kind of just policing the area, seeing if 
they drove it out or trucked it out or how well i know that there's no <clears throat> i know they got that wood line there right as far as them coming across this way right but uh all right uh, i got it. i know their dogs are starting to come over here oh yeah no biggie right but i keep an eye out though i mean we we get hit up here every once in a while people right. breaking in cars and stuff yeah I mean, it's kind of hard to conceal two skid steers, you know what I mean? Ooh. Yeah, the two skid steers in a dump trailer. So it's pretty large. So they, yeah. they had some manpower moving it. But we were just curious if we had, if we could get any leads on it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I haven't seen anything. Um, I mean, guess the neighborhoods over there, if they have any cameras or anything. Yeah, no, we, we just thought we're kind of making our rounds because it was basically, <clears throat> it was taken right where they were working, which is kind of right across the street sort of right. thing. Oh, we're, okay. just, we're just kind of trying to see if they might have, Jockeyed it over here to, you know, on the keepsake to move it out or, or what. I've seen, here. I mean, I've, I've been here, you know, most of the weekend and everything, so I haven't seen it. I got you, I got you. But do, if I do, I'll let you know. I appreciate it. Are, are those neighbors of yours home? Do they have more than one car? Or, no, that, are they, they should be home. They should be home. Yeah. Awesome. Sounds good. I'm going to go see if I can talk to them. They trustworthy people? Yeah. Good. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're elderly. They probably wouldn't have known anything happened or not. But okay. There is, and I don't know what the terrain is over there. Uh -huh. I used to walk it all the time when it was a field. Right. But since they've been doing the excavating and everything, I don't know if there's like a dip down there okay. that they could get up behind there because from that house to that house, it's kind of like blank, you know, dead space back there. So okay. That, that could be possible, but <clears throat> I don't know. Sounds good, sir. I appreciate all your right. help. Thank you. You guys have a good day. Thank you. All right, I'm going to have a few get the field. I think the volleyball breaks it quad. Inspection. It's been a long time since they've played volleyball there.
I drove all around quad. I've yet to find the two vehicles, and nobody was in front of door 22. You can both service one in the back and see where they're at, please. Copy. It's going to be this door 22. Oh, uh, yeah. Motor parts, please. 154 Berkman. 154. I believe I locate them. It's actually going to be off auto parts, place. 104.
just this way, right? friend's house and he came out and this is what was the car. This is what he found. Okay. So we didn't want to call in over the weekend to file a report for... I got you. I mean, when it comes to something like this, I'll run the, the license plate on the vehicle and your license to say that you know, basically you're the owner kind of thing is what you're mm -hmm. saying. But it's, it's not going to be a full accident report. It'll just be, I'll do a CAD computer automated dispatch for insurance that's what the lady said yeah but other than that like because i not saying that you're lying to me i don't want yeah. i don't want you to say that but i can't prove that it this did happen in my county or jurisdiction or anything like I'm, I'm taking your word for it you know what i mean but i can't sign my name to like a full crash report that says yeah you know this happened exactly here you know this and that and everything else so mm -hmm. plus i mean it's pretty minimal damage yeah. i mean so you, you kind of lucked out some of the might be a lot like a trailer hitch might have backed into you or something like that no clue i was in my friend's house for a few hours when I came out to leave, I couldn't open my door and I looked at the front and that's I got you, man. I have. Can you grab me your license, please? Yeah, they're in my pocket. All right, thanks. Are you the owner of the vehicle? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is my son. God, I kind of figured so. Yeah. 54 Berkeley, West Virginia, please. Happy. There you go, sir. Thank you. So, when it comes to something like this, Sheriff's Office, obviously, that's who came out here and responded. You can contact the secretary during normal business hours to get a copy of the CAD, the computer automated right. dispatch. And then other than that, have you contacted your insurance company yet? We about did, and they told us we had to have this report first before they go any further. So that's the reason why we... It's the, a CAD is the most basic report that we can do. So it's going to notate uh, observed damage on the vehicle, and that's going to say it's for insurance purposes. So it, it'll be super simple from this no problem. point on. So just uh, you have to contact the secretaries in there if they're expecting you to provide that uh, that report. I think it's like a twenty dollar fee. That's what she said. Yeah. yeah then, I mean, it's it's super simple. By tomorrow morning, they'll be able to print it all out. Okay. Cool. You can go from there. So, that sounds good. Uh, to me. Yeah. It's the, it's our quickest report. It's definitely the quickest turnaround on the report that you can get. So okay. not bad at all. So as soon as that they say that they found the car and found you, then I'll be good to go. That's the only thing you have to do is just contact the secretaries. All right. At your office. Yeah. At our, at our office. Right. So. Uh, they had put me through to her when I originally called. Okay. She thought uh, I meant we had already asked for a report, and she was telling me all everything you just it. did. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. About needing the twenty dollars and just come yeah. in and you can pick it up. And but then I said no, I haven't filed it yet. So gotcha. that was yeah. It's good. It's weird how because our dispatch and our secretaries aren't in the same building. So it's kind of sometimes lost in translation. I you thought it was I mean? all moved to the same group. Uh, not our secretaries. Good. Yeah, our secretaries are actually there at our sheriff's office and dispatch at the communication center. So sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's lost in translation. Dispatch never moved. They've been in the same place. Out by the elementary school? Yeah. My mom used to work here. Oh, yeah? Ages ago. Ages ago. Good. Lane on a 2013 Nissan Altima expiration of September 2021. Thank you. Attach all information, Brian. All right, sir. Y'all are good to go. Simple as that. So just contact them in the morning. Y'all should be good from there. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. No problem. Out, sir. Sir. 